Hi, this is Kullika here. Today I'm going to color Easter eggs. The traditional way it was always done in my family, as far back as I remember. It's a very healthy, natural way, since uh, there are absolutely no chemicals involved. So the way I do it, I take a fresh raw egg and I take onion peels. I wrap onion peels around the egg and then I wrap a cotton uh, cloth around the egg with uh, onion peels. And then I tie a cotton thread around the egg to keep uh, onion peels uh, pressed firmly against the, the egg because that's where the color pattern comes from. And then I put the eggs in a pot and I boil them about uh, 10 minutes. This is what it's going to look like when it is all done. And uh, I put this basket here on the table because I was going to put uh, the uh, eggs in that basket after they're all done. But then before I <laughs> got to it, uh, Sammy decided to crawl in the basket. So I thought, okay, so I would enjoy his company. So if he likes to be around, so I just let him be. So I don't want to disturb him. So Sammy is going to be laying uh, here next to me and watching. <laughs> So now I'm going to show you how to do it. Here I have white, raw, fresh eggs, onion peels, a little bit water to moisten the onion peels so they will stick better to the eggs, white cotton thread to wrap around the egg, and scissors to cut the thread. And of course, uh, cloth that is going to hold it all together. So here I have some uh, fresh uh, cotton uh, fabric pieces that I cut up for this year. But those ones have some onion pattern on them already, so these are from the onion bills from uh, previous years. What works best is uh, uh, stretchy cotton, because it, uh, you can uh, stretch it and wrap it around the egg better than uh, un unstretchy fabric. And if you don't have any cotton uh, fabric, you can use your old t-shirt, but make sure it's clean. And it's best if it is 100% cotton, no polyester or nothing. Because you're going to boil it in the bag and you don't want to boil any chemicals into your eggs. So, yeah, the way you do it, you take an egg, you put it on your cloth, and you start uh, wrapping onion peels around it. So yeah, you might want to moisten them. You don't have to, but uh, it's sometimes easier if you moisten them a little bit. And you go just like this. <coughs> so you want to cover the egg with onion peels completely. But even if you don't cover it completely, it, you might even get more interesting patterns. So yeah, whatever goes, you can just try and experiment. And I have discovered that uh, if you don't put too many onion peels, just few, you sometimes get even more interesting pattern. So the full charm of the of the full charm of doing eggs this way is uh, complete unpredictability. Because some eggs that you think you really get a fancy pattern, that you put lots of uh, little tiny pieces and think you get some really fancy pattern, they turn out uh, pretty boring. But some Sometimes towards the end, when I'm almost running out of the onion peels and try to save and or I'm tired already and think that uh, I'll just get it uh, over with and usually or sometimes those particular eggs turn out the most uh, interesting. So it's quite unpredictable what you get. So yeah, you just wrap the onion peels around the egg, then uh, you wrap fabric around the onion peels with the egg, and then you tie it tight with a uh, thread. Just like that. And it's done. It's ready to go in the pot to be boiled for about uh, 10 minutes. Then you take your next egg, you put it on the cloth, and then you start wrapping onion peels around it. Just like that. 
Sam is not sleeping, Sam is watching. He's wondering what am I doing here? <laughs> And each egg will be totally unique. You will never get two eggs that look similar. And the patterns are totally unpredictable, as you will see. I have tried uh, red onion peels too, but they don't work. They turn out pretty boring, surprisingly. I would have thought red onion peels give you red color, but no. <laughs> It's rather kind of grayish. So what works best are the are the the most simple uh, um, cooking onions. Yeah, not not even sweet onions or anything. Just just regular cooking onions that are the strongest in flavor. And the peels. And I have noticed if you have peels from a couple couple of years back, the peels somehow seem to become stronger. So, for whatever reason, I can't explain it, but I have noticed that the older peels that I have from years ago somehow give me more uh, uh, striking patterns than the ones that I peel off from my onions that I, bought, that I have purchased uh, this year. So, I will continue doing this and I'm gonna show you when I'm almost done. Yes, just in case if you are uh, wanting to try this and you don't have enough onion peels then what you can do and what I have done oftentimes is that uh, you just go to the grocery store to the produce department of any grocery store and you find the onions you just take a couple of onions from there and uh, you fill the rest of the bag with onion peels because there are always uh, loose peels laying around there so you just take them and put them in a bag and you go to the till and you pay for the onions. And the peels are light like feathers so they don't really have to delete. I'm just finishing my last egg right now. And uh, I'm doing 18 eggs so the whole process by far has taken me about uh, almost 45 minutes. And uh, Sammy has been uh, laying here in this basket all that time. So he hasn't left. <laughs> so he has been enjoying this action thoroughly. So now I'm all finished wrapping the eggs and uh, I'm going to boil them. Now the eggs are boiling and I'm going to boil them about 10 minutes. If you wish you can boil them longer if you want really hard boiled eggs. Since it takes a little bit longer for them to reach the desirable uh, level of uh, hardness. Since they're wrapped in cloths and onion peels. So now the eggs have been boiling about 10 minutes and I'm going to drain them and uh, put them in cold water. As you can see the water I'm dumping to the sink is uh, bright orange. This is the color from onion peels. It's very bright color. So now I'm going to cool them off with uh, cold water. When they're all cooled off then I'm going to unwrap them. So now I'm unwrapping the first egg. We'll see what it's going to be like. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. The first egg. Pretty unique pattern. <coughs> yeah, they're quite unpredictable. And now the second egg. It's a lot time consuming uh, to unwrap them because you don't want to break them. You have to be really careful how you do that. So I'll just wrap a few and then I'm gonna show you once they're all unwrapped. And uh, Sammy went for a little walk meanwhile around the house and now 
he came back and uh, joined us here. Mm -hmm. Just now, once I started unwrapping the eggs, so I just unwrapped uh, the second egg, which is much darker. So now they are all unwrapped, and this is what they look like. Aren't they nice? <laughs> so yeah, like this one, it has some uh, bright yellow. Like you can see some uh, onion peel pattern here. And uh, this one is pretty dark. And uh, this one has some pretty interesting pattern. So yeah, they're all quite unique. As you see. <laughs> you won't get two eggs that would look the same that way. Using this method. So the full thing took about... Uh, one and a half hour. Thanks for watching me coloring my Easter eggs in my traditional way. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, if you decide to try it, uh, please let me know how did it go. And uh, I'd be interested in uh, seeing some pictures maybe. <laughs>